John Halls, the sartorialist we are thrilled to have John Halls, a British model, on our channel. Halls has a certain look that brands adore because he never has a dull moment, always sports his signature beard, and always moves with class. His career as a professional model has been propelled by the strong work ethic he developed during his time playing football. He joined us for a brief conversation and to give us an update on his professional life. Hi John, awesome to have you here with us again. How have you been? Hi, I've been great thanks, just had a lovely break over Christmas with family and friends. Now happy to be into 2023 and back to work. The last time we caught up with you was before the pandemic in 2019. So, can you tell us what you have been up to for these past three years? Well as you know the pandemic was crazy and scary. Getting through that period while keeping everybody safe was a tough experience. There were stages of loads of work and also stages of no work at all so it was important to keep myself busy and my mind occupied. Staying in shape was a good way to keep the mind occupied as it was way too easy to be drinking gin every day before noon, especially in the lockdowns. After Covid it was great to get back to traveling again and I realized how much I missed it. 2022 was a good year towards the end, as I got to experience some amazing places with a special mention to Bali and Da Man magazine for taking me. Welcome to Admire Adam. Before we continue, we have a small request. If you like what you see, please think about helping us out by becoming a subscriber to our channel. Despite the fact that this is just a tiny click, it means a lot to us. Thank you. What was the biggest surprise you experienced when you first started modeling? I think one of the first things I found weird and difficult was being on my own quite a lot, especially with the traveling. I came from a football background and from 14 to 30 years old I traveled with 20 players and staff everywhere and I was rarely on my own. This took a while to get used to and learning to like my own company was a big change as it can be quite a lonely job. Getting my hair and makeup done was always a little weird as well although being in front of a camera seemed natural as I had done modeling as a kid. Also traveling abroad to do a job always seemed weird to me. I used to think ain't they got any good looking fellas in that place already? When a brand approaches you to walk on their runway or star in their campaign, what is it that usually convinces you to take the offer? What do you usually look for in a collaboration? Money. Nah at first I was just happy to work and trust in my agents that they were doing the best for me, which they have. Now I feel I have a bit more of a choice. I'd say I like to work with brands that I personally really love and align with my personal style. All in all, what would you say are the qualities that make a good model in this day and age? You have to have a good look but you need to have a good character as well, be fun on set and also not be shy in front of the camera. If everyone on set is having a good time you normally end up with some great pictures and getting the work done. In all your years in the modeling industry, what is the most unique piece of advice you've ever received? I wouldn't say I've had a particular piece of advice that stands out but I would say I've worked with a lot of amazing people and through their experiences, my confidence has grown over the years. Watching so many talented people doing their job has taught me a lot more than one piece of advice ever could. Besides modeling and now making your fashion line, would you consider going into acting as well? It's something that's been in the back of my mind since I started modeling. I have a short film coming out early this year called, Anniversary, shot by the amazing Michael Salvino, directed by Molly Schenkenberger and written by Henry Bulkley. I do find it fun and hopefully, I can do more but it's I need to learn so I can become more comfortable and natural when doing it. If you ever dive into the acting world, what would you say your dream role would be? My dream role would be Ryan Gosling in Drive. What new milestones do you want to tackle next? Will we see you in other campaigns in the upcoming months? Yeah, this year hopefully I'll be working with some more great brands but also continuing with the amazing brands I already have as clients as a main priority. I'm really excited about my brand and getting it ready to launch. What is it that motivates you to do what you do and drives you to reach for new goals? I think no matter what career path you take, you should aim to be the best you can be in your job. I'm very competitive so seeing the success of others always motivates me to achieve more. Last question. 
What is your number one source of motivation? My motivation is working hard so I'll be able to enjoy life with family and friends. If you would want to support Admire Adam, please send us a super thanks by picking a donation amount from the drop down menu below the video. Thank you for watching our video. We appreciate each and every one of you. Enjoy your day.